Hey guys and welcome to the Parrot Bros. Today we're going to be doing a video on armrests, probably one of the biggest subjects I've been looking forward to covering. I finally got myself one and we're going to give you three options ranging from a tenner right up to 200 quid. So if you need an armrest in your life, stick around because this is the video for you. Now let's get into the intro. <laughs> Okay, so let's get down to business. Now armrests, I have done a lot of research into this. I've had a good look around. Obviously I've had my car sort of 18 months and I've really missed having an armrest. So um, whilst doing a load of research, to be honest, there's only really three options available. Now we'll start with the most expensive, which we'll jump into right now. So the Forge or the TT Shop armrest is uh, aluminium in construction with a leather um, pad on top. Now this one's been customized as if anyone knows Roberto's uh, papaya car, they will know he loves a bit of carbon, as you can see. Uh, but yeah, so this one is normally comes in silver, uh, aluminium. It's got the nice sort of dimpled effect um, side trims to match pretty much everything in a TT. And you can either obviously have it up so you don't have an armrest, or you can have it down. Now they also make a spacer bracket, I believe Cloud9 Customs does one, um, just to bring it up a little bit higher because it is a little low, but Having an armrest, I'm sure you'll agree, is better than not having one. Um, now, these will run you about £200 if you can find them. There's, I had a look today, um, so this is August 2020. Um, there's two on eBay. One's 180, one's 220. So, an average price is about £200. And what you want to try and get from that is the whole thing, including the clip at the back, which sits behind because it has two slots um, to mount the armrest in now you can um, obviously cut yours and it will fit um, and mounting it wise there is only two I believe two fixings at the back which go into the original fixings um, from the center console, it's center console itself so a relatively easy fit no real modification required and it does sort of look in keeping with the TT it's quite firm um, but it is all price dependent because obviously at 200 pounds it is the most expensive option um, so that being said it is personal preference. I mean, an armrest is better than no armrest. Um, and if you've got some of the extra nice touches and you don't mind spending a couple of hundred quid if one comes up, um, then happy days. Now, colour-wise, um, I have seen, obviously, mainly black leather tops. Um, I've seen a couple. I've seen one red and one grey. So if you don't have a black car, you may, if you want, say you've got a cream interior or red interior, um, you may need to get it reupholstered, but most places will do that for sort of between 20 and 40 pounds um, if you find a nice little trimmers. Um, so yeah, that is the armrest. I'll give you a little spin around on the camera in a second just so you can see uh, a little bit more about it from all angles. I've also got some pictures for you guys. And we'll move on to the next one. Okay guys, so now we've discussed the most expensive, now we're gonna move on to possibly my favorite, and this is the Kirkby Printed Creations one. Now they've actually sent me one, which is why I'm doing the video today. Um, so this is their fixed armrest. This is completely custom made, 3D printed, with a nice soft leather pad on top. Um, now I specified black leather, they do different colors, and they also, you can specify the height, so you can pretty much have it exactly how you want it. Work out your seating position, and I'll show you once we're in the car, what I mean, but you can actually work out the height you want to have your arm for the perfect seating position. They also offer customizable aliens, so you can have, uh, I'll flick a picture up now, he put a uh, Liverpool Football Club logo into one for someone, and the, the beauty of this company is it is made as you order it. So you order this one, you can specify the height, you can pick the color of the leather pad on top, um, and they do loads of options. They do, this is obviously the fixed one. They do a narrower bodied one, which is for the roadster because you have the um, roof controls behind. And they also do one with a lift top, which has the double cup holder underneath. So there is loads of variety. Now, price wise, um, all three of the armrests, I believe, are 50 pounds. Um, I believe they cost a little bit more if you change the color of the leather. It's an extra £10. And if you want some customization done, it may be a little bit more. But you have to get in contact with them directly. But this is a quarter of the price of the one we've just seen. 
Now, fitment-wise, this goes into, if you, you can see here, it goes into the um, little cubby next to the handbrake. So it goes right down to the side of you. It is a snug fit. Now, we'll, obviously, we'll go into the car in a minute and I'll show you, but it is snug. Once it goes in, it is fiddly to get out, but it, it sits perfectly. And if you can see here, it goes obviously in as far as these finish, and then this stops it from rocking. So it is actually very firm. Um, a lot of design has gone into these and they are very good. Um, whilst we're on Kirkby PC, I also wanted to discuss with you some of their other things they do. Um, and I've ordered a couple of bits. They do everything from um, top mount covers in the engine bay, throttle body covers, they do uh, double boost gauges to go underneath the heater controls. They do the VIN um, trim that goes onto the top of your scuttle panel in the engine bay, amongst other things. I'll flag up a load of pictures as we discuss all their stuff um, so you can see what they do. All the, dis the stuff I've discussed today will be in the description below. So under this video, there's a little arrow on the corner. If you just tap that, underneath there will be all the links to where you can buy these. Um, so let's jump into the car. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how simple fitting the uh, Kirkby Printed Creations one is. Like I said, this, the flat edge and a rounded edge. Uh, rounded edge is at the back, flat edge is at the front. Now, fitment-wise, it is really snug. So it does, I mean, I've had this one in once, so it is a little bit, it does go in. But basically, there you go, so that's in. And then all you do is just push down the front and the back, and it will go down as far as it will go, and then it stops. And that is it, solid. And there you go. That is literally it. Now, so what I was talking about was um, fitment wise. So get in your normal seating position, work out where you're happy. Uh, and what I did was I've measured without without this in from my arm um, to roughly sort of where I have it and where I like to sit, get comfortable, hand on the gear knob. I mean, in gear, you can literally rest your arm on the thing and still change gear. So that's kind of the optimum for me. Um, especially if you've had an armrest before, you know kind of what you like. Um, it normally sits ever so slightly lower than this side door card, which is quite normal. Um, but like I said, measure how high you want it. So what you want to do, I'll take my cup holder out, which I'm going to have to spin round because I can only use one half. And you'll see what I mean about snug fit. It is literally, really, uh, there we go. So that's out. So what you want to do is measure from the top of this, to where you want your arm. Uh, I mean, you can do it with anything. You could do it with cereal boxes, you could do it with old cardboard boxes, books, whatever you want. If you drop the handbrake, you've got plenty of space there. You can stack stuff up and just sort of get your arm on it. And then all you've got to do is give them a measurement um, from there, from the uh, center console, to roughly where you want it, and he'll be able to design it specifically for you. Um, for no extra cost, I believe, so you just need to give him, or very little extra cost, but it'd be worth it just to give him this measurement and they can make it how you want it. So yeah, fitting wise, literally, and this is the same for any of them, whether they've got the lift up or whatever, just line it up, push down, and that's it. And that is, honestly, that is solid. You'll actually lift out the the whole cubby before you'll actually pull that armrest out. Um, so yeah, that is it. I mean, you can still access everything. You can still get your buttons. Um, if you've got this obviously a convertible you can still reach the buttons there still reach the buttons at the front there Handbrakes perfectly operable doesn't even foul it and it's just comfy how I've missed an armrest I mean, I've actually had this in now for about a week and I've been doing quite a bit of driving with it And I tell you what why I haven't bought one of these before I will never know but yeah, so that is the uh, Kirk B printed creations armrest um, So now we'll move on to the eBay option Okay guys, so the last option we have available is the eBay one. Now this is by far the cheapest. Um, having a look on the internet, there is a few options, a few different styles, and they range from between sort of 12 to 15 quid up to about 30 pound, depending on which one you get, whether you get a leather top vinyl, uh, metal sides or plastic or whatever. Um, and to be honest, if you just want something cheap and cheerful and you don't mind screwing it into the uh, armrest of your car, then that is the one for you. Um, they come, like I said, they come in various styles. Um, you can buy, they're slightly more expensive if you buy them from eBay if they're UK delivery. Um, but you can get some, the one I'll link down below is about 13 or 14 pounds and it's UK based delivery. Um, and basically all you'll need to do with that is at the back under the little, um, cubby that I took off where my cup holders are, you're basically going to have to mount it over there because it's sort of, 
it basically has two sides and it drops either side of the center console and you basically need to trim the um, plastic on the universal armrest and then you can screw it um, I would put at least two on each side because obviously if you're going to be leaning on it um, and you basically need to sort of pilot drill and screw either side which means you'll need to put all your, both your chairs forward in the car um, and then that'll allow you to to drill it and then it will come through um, between the seats um, I'll flag up a few pictures. This is of uh, a Glad called Sean's fitted on the uh, Facebook group that we're on. This is the same one I've linked just to make it easy for you. Um, so yeah, if you don't mind modifying your center console, then absolutely fine. Um, give this one a go for 14, 15 pounds, whatever, 13, 14 pounds. Um, it's the one for you. But yeah, like I said, um, I will link a fitting guide. It's not by me. Um, it's just one I found on the internet that's reasonably good um, that might help you if you want the cheap option. So yeah, guys, that is armrests. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to uh, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, if you just double tap the thumbs down, I'd appreciate that. And uh, guys, if you like the channel, if you're not already subscribed, think about subscribing. We've also got a playlist um, for TTs, which has over 50 videos. Um, if you've enjoyed this one, you'll definitely enjoy some of the 50 in there. And if you have a TT, you'll probably need to watch some of the ones in there as well. So until next time, guys, bye for now.